Thank you, everybody, and good evening. We are so uh, looking forward to tonight's performance. This is an annual performance now. Uh, it's so great when an, uh, a random idea becomes a tradition. And we've been sharing our first concert of the season with Strongsville Community Band now for, I think, five or six years. And it's really one of the highlights of the year for us, partially because of the collaboration with this fine ensemble comprised of many BW alum. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, but including their esteemed conductor, Ken Mahalko, who is class of 1961. <laughs> Founder of our marching band, longtime teacher at Strongsville High School, and I believe founder of Strongsville Community Band, and been the conductor ever since. I was just in the back talking to the students and Ken made an appearance and I introduced him as the person that I hope to be when I grow up. <laughs> May I still be making music at his level and, uh, and share the passion that he has uh, for music and for music education. It's such a privilege to be here and thank you all for being here tonight. We hope you enjoy the music. It is with great pride and a privilege to ask you to join me in welcoming the Strongsville Community Band. concert with the Royal Hawaiian March by calling your attention to the wildfires that swept through the city of Lahaina, located on the western side of Maui, devastating much of that island paradise. This march is based on the popular Aloha Oi, composed by Queen Lily Uokalani in 1876. The march pays tribute to the very rich history of the state of Hawaii. Thank you. 
next concert of the Strongsville Community Band will be a benefit concert for the victims of the recent Maui disaster. The concert, in partnership with the Strongsville Rotary Club, will benefit the Rotary District 5000 Maui Fires Relief Fund. There's no charge for the concert, but a free will offering will be collected after the concert. The date of the concert is Wednesday, November 8th at 7 p.m. in the Strongsville Rec and Senior Center. The next on the program, Satiric Dances, was composed in 1975 by American composer Norman De La Joya and was commissioned by the Concord Band of Concord, Massachusetts. The work in three movements has become a standard in the literature for symphonic bands. It is based upon the background music for a comedy by Aristophanes. In three movements, it has Mediterranean folk dance influences and offers a distinctive and dramatic setting for band. Conducting satiric dances is our associate director, Brian Mascow. You'd like to give Brian a hand, please? I've also been asked to announce that during the satiric dances, there are several soloists that we would like to recognize. In the trumpet section, Jim Wanacott, clarinet, Dick Ingersoll and Barb McKissick, flute, Carolyn Ermlich, oboe, Bruce Biggin, bass clarinet, Elaine Kubis, bassoon, Jim Husick, euphonium, David Betts, and percussion, Clarence Barber, Daryl Micah, and Rob Toth.
Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Just wanted to take this moment to thank Baldwin Wallace University and Brendan Caldwell for inviting us each fall to this joint concert. It is a wonderful collaboration for us and with so many BW grads. And myself not being a BW grad, but I did get my educator's uh, license from here. Um, we are so thankful to be a part of this. And so we want to say a heartfelt thank you to the university and to Brendan. Thank you for having us. We are happy to conclude this part of the concert with a well-known orchestral transcription, Poet and Peasant Overture by Franz von Zuck who lived from 1819 to 1895. A composer of 60 comic operas, he is best known for his overtures, Light Cavalry, Morning, Noon, and Night in Vienna, and Poet and Peasant. These orchestral overtures were so suitable for bands that they soon became staples in the concert repertoire of professional and school bands. Here is Poet and Peasant Overture, and the saxophone solo will be performed by Mike Elkins.
tell you, he's also married to the PWA. Uh, I have a heavy heart here. You notice um, there's an empty chair at the end, and it's in honor of uh, one of our bassoonists who's in the hospital right now in critical condition. Um, she's, uh, her family are strong VW people. Her mom, Helen, her dad, Tom Rathburn, they both graduated from VW. Her mother-in-law uh, was a former head of alumni relationship here. She was a VW grad, 52 years old, and right now she's in the hospital. We're not sure what her condition is, but it's not good. Her dad was supposed to announce for us today. Unfortunately, he's at the hospital. But thankfully, we've had a replacement for Marshall Wanakut who's a BW grad and married to the <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for being here. As I told the BW students, when I came here as a freshman in 57, <laughs> doesn't seem possible, but I, you know, here and there, you know, I come to a lot of the concerts here in this conservatory, gosh, so many talented students, I, I, I get together with some of my BW friends once a month, and I said, you know, I don't even know if we could even get into the conservatory today. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy Brendan's band. And if you could just pause for a moment uh, and send positive thoughts to the Rathburn family now, we're going through some terrible times, and. Uh, be thankful where we are right now. So thank you again for being here. 